what are some traits of great play-by-play? Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind, and this is the one that you hear all the time, is preparation. I mean, any young broadcaster needs to know that preparation is is at the heart of everything you do as a broadcaster. And and I think you've got to have that willingness and that desire to learn everything you possibly can about the teams that you know the players, know everything that uh, that you can know, and have that work ethic. And I don't care what you do in life that's a big part of what you're going to need to have to, have to be successful and broadcasting is no exception. The other part of it to me is I think you have to have a passion for what you do. And, and, I, and at some level, I think a gratefulness, some gratitude for what you do. I think you have to remind yourself how lucky you are to be in the position you are. And I think that comes across in your broadcasts. Um, and the other part of that work ethic, I think, is is constantly evaluating yourself and trying to be honest with yourself in terms of what you need to do to get better and what you like that you're doing. But it's that constant work ethic that I think has got to be there for every broadcaster. Is there anything, any special preparation tricks that you have? <laughs> I, I think everybody's different, uh, you know, in terms of what, what ways they go about doing their job. Uh, for me, I, I think uh, the flashcards are still a key for me. I, I always still use flashcards to make sure that I memorize players and names and numbers. I think that's a that's a staple for any play-by-play guy. I think you've got to know your your players and you got to be ready and you got to be quick on that. But the other part of it, I always think that you should have at least two to three nuggets of information on every player that you feel like is going to be a potential uh, impact player in a game. And, and for football, I'm talking about a lot of the skill guys, guys that get in there defensively and make noise. I like to have have something that I can turn to for each guy in basketball. You're talking just about everybody that's going to potentially see time. I like to try and find something on them. And I know it's harder depending on where you are to get that information at what level you're broadcasting, but I still think it's, it's worth the effort to try and always have that and always make sure you have all your statistics and everything of that nature. But um, the other component to me to, to being a prepared broadcaster is having relationships that are good enough with coaches that you can turn to them and, and you can get some information and, and, and whether it's the head coach or assistant coaches, just kind of being not obtrusive, but uh, finding out whatever you can, glimmers of information that you can turn out from those guys. I think that's, that's huge too.